Everything tastes better with butter, doesn't it? Certainly. Yeah. This is the beginning of something. Good food at an affordable price to the people. The idea is fantastic. Great to be here in Ludlow with the sun shining. Well, I think this sort of takes street food to the next level. I live in London. I'm surrounded by people that spend £100 a head on dinner. And everyone says, oh, British food's terrific now. We've sorted it out. Well, what about the rest of us who don't pay 100 quid a head for dinner? One of the things I notice most in street food is that people choose one thing and they really perfect it. Traditional stuff, but also things that you just wouldn't expect on a street vendor's stand. There's foraged ingredients from the coast. There's the well-produced meat, things that are cared about. These, a lot of these vehicles run on biodiesel. There's a guy over there who's perfected a burger. It's taken about a year and a half to get the perfect burger, and my God, it's good. Good food. Good, good food. Just goes to show that you know what you can actually do with great raw products, as good a quality as you could get in a restaurant. And it's cooked right in front of you, so it's fast food, but it's good for you. There are still the guys with three fingers out there pushing the rusty metal hand carts that, that are selling sausages from a tin. They're still out there. Uh, we hope that we've seen the end of them, or we are seeing the end of them. This is the future. This is this is the British street food revolution. This is really grounding everything. It's bringing the whole principle back to where it's all about, people wanting cheap, quick food from the street.